What's up everybody, this is DDS and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on the Machine Plus. I've had the Machine Plus for over a week now. I've used it every single day. As you guys know, I also have the Machine MK3 here. And as you kind of tell, they're fairly similar. Uh, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. If you're not new, I just want to ask that you just continue to support me and watch the videos. Anyway, I want to give a shout out to Mick Benjamins and Native Instruments before I continue because they sent me the Machine Plus and I am grateful for that. So first things first, I have a list of pros and cons I'm going to go through. But before I do that, I'm going to let you guys know like what's the difference and how I've been using the Machine Plus. And then I will get into my pros and cons about the Machine Plus so far. So as you guys know, I've been using Machine for a very long time. If you haven't seen any of the videos on my channel all you gotta do is go to my videos and you'll see tons and tons of videos of me using machine mk3 and that was my favorite machine i know a lot of you guys like the machine studio but to me i prefer the machine mk3 the studio was cool but once i got the mk3 that uh studio went back in the closet <laughs> went in the box and in the closet it hasn't been out since so the machine mk3 has been what i've used all the time i make all my beats inside a machine i know i went through a point in time where i was making beats in logic for maybe about a month or two but i ended up going right back to machine um so with that being said i pretty much know my way around machine very well especially the mk3 so when you look at the machine plus compared to the mk3 they look identical for the most part outside of like the finish and things of that nature the main difference where people ask me about like what's the difference between the plus and the mk3 the machine plus is standalone obviously so what that means is you will not need your computer to make beats so over the past week and some change i've just been making beats in other places even at this little desk setup i have right here which is not connected to my computer in any way just like right here you guys can't see it because the camera's focused on me but i have a little desk right here and um i've been making beats right here it's something that i enjoy it actually made me like get away from the computer so i'm gonna get more into that when i get to my pros and cons here in a second but that is the main difference a lot of people have been asking me what's the difference between the two it's just that in my opinion the mk3 was my favorite machine so now i have my favorite machine that I do not need to power up a computer, laptop, anything of that nature to get started using. I could just take it wherever I'm going and wherever I'm at and just open it up and have fun with it. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and dive into my pros and cons. Just wanted to show you guys that I was serious about the pros and cons list. You can't see it, but I took um, notes on my iPad because I wanted to make sure that I went ahead and made everything clear and hit all my points. So before I get started, before I get started with the pros and cons, I want to mention I've never used the MPC, so this is no comparison. A lot of people have been asking me, like, how does this compare to this MPC or that MPC? Or you could just get the MPC some some for this price. I've never used MPC. The only Akai uh, product that I used was an Akai MPK 49, and that was a few years back. So I'm not 100% sure um, how this is going to compare to any of the MPCs. So I will not be talking about that. Let me see what else I got on this list that I want to mention before I dive into it. As I mentioned, you guys know I love the MK3. That's my favorite machine. And I can see the Plus actually replacing my MK3. And I'm going to talk about that more in a second. And I actually just want to say I look forward to seeing what's next with the Machine Plus. I've been having a lot of fun with it. And I'll dive more into that later. So my first pro is it's standalone. You guys already know that. That means it gets me away from the computer. That does not necessarily mean it's portable. There's a difference there. A lot of people have been saying, oh, you need a battery. You need this. You need that. There is no battery. How come there's no battery? You can't take it everywhere because there's no battery. It's not really standalone because you have to plug into something. But look, <laughs> this right here is what I use as my battery. Yeah, it's not installed on the machine, but... I can literally plug in anything into this little wall socket right here and it works fine. I've took the machine plus out in public and I've uh, plugged it up and I worked with no issues. I'm looking forward to getting a speaker tomorrow so that way I can just plug that in and not always have to use headphones. I get tired of using headphones sometimes. 
So that is a pro for me. Aside from just the not having to connect to the computer, you got to think powering up the computer, waiting for stuff to load, all of that. You don't have to do that. This machine loads for me, I want to say it takes maybe around 30, 40 seconds once I power it on the first time. And from there, it's good to go, run smooth, all of that. And to add on to the point about you no longer need your computer, you get your updates. If you buy an expansion and it's in your account and it's ready for the machine plus, all you have to do is connect your machine plus to your Wi-Fi and you are able to download all the stuff directly to the machine plus so no computer necessary. That's how I set up the whole thing. It was very simple. You just take a picture of the QR code that they give you on the screen. You log into your native instruments account and you're able to access everything that's available for this right there quick, fast and easy. OK, so from there, my next pro is it made me use what I have available. Some people may not like that. I guess this is kind of it could be seen as a con. There's a limit to the sounds that you can use. So if you think you're going to get this and you're going to be able to use Omnisphere and Nexus and all of that stuff, you're not going to be able to. It's not available for the Machine Plus. So be sure to look and see what is available for the Machine Plus on the website. I've used FM8, Monarch, Massive, Prism, uh, Retro Machines. I feel like I'm leaving something else out. I could be leaving something else out, but I've been using those, and when I say the, it's a, that it's a pro, that it makes me use what I have, I mean that I've literally been using sounds that I haven't used in years, so it feels like I'm diving back into something new. I know with the expansions that come out, you may get presets for Massive, Monarch, and whatnot, so I've used some of those as well, but it also has me tweaking sounds, which I never really did before. I would just go through presets and if I'll do a real minor adjustment, maybe on an attack or something like that. But now I'm really using like once I load a sound up, I just go and I twist these knobs and all of that stuff just to, you know, see what happens with it. I'm not that deep into sound design, but I've been doing that a lot lately once I had this. And that has it's been a lot of fun, actually. So I get inspired inspired by that actually having a new palette of sounds because like i have a whole new sound like once i get omnisphere and all that stuff that's what i'm sticking with using for the most part but since i have this it's like i have new things to go ahead and check out uh let me check what's my next pro my next pro is same great workflow as the mk3 i love the mk3 i can't stress that enough this is the same great workflow it works the same i know there was the recent update that, it, that introduced clips and whatnot so that's all here as well you can use clips on your computer and your mk3 but you just have to learn the shortcuts on this one on the plus there is a clips button so that's pretty much it for my pros for this like i've been having fun with it i've used it non-stop i've used it standalone mode and i also used it on controller mode i've made i want to say in standalone mode i made about 20 beats and i think out of the 24 were sample beats so i was able to load my samples up onto the sd card also put them on the machine chop them all of that stuff and then transfer it back over for me to get the project done and mix the track so that was that wasn't a hassle at all so i'm having a lot of fun with it so now my cons the main con that I hear people talking about is the price tag. I'm not going to necessarily list that as a con for me because it really all depends on your personal budget. Do you have the money to spend? I know people compare it to the NPC saying that this one is cheaper. Like I said, I haven't used the NPC, so I can't really tell you which way is the right way to go with that. So it's really personal preference and what you can fit in your budget. Me personally, had they not sent me one, I would have bought one anyway because I'm such a heavy machine user. And if you check my previous videos, I've had videos where I took my MK3 on a car or on a trip somewhere and things of that nature where I would try to record, make beats outside. I've done all of that stuff. So for me, it really helps me and it makes sense because I really want something like that. Like I have videos planned where I want to go outside and make videos and go to different places. And when I travel, I can just take this in my battery pack headphones or a speaker and i'm good to go so 
like I said, I'm not going to even give that a con. My biggest con with this whole thing is the when you're naming your sounds or your groups or your projects, the backspace button. Now, it's not plugged in, so I can't really show you, but as far as I know, I could be wrong. It could be something out there where you can do it all at once. You have to delete like this, like every letter, you have to go like that and then retype it. That's something minor though. That's not that big of a deal. It's just like, dang, I wish they had like a delete all or select all and all that stuff. But maybe it's there and I don't know where it is just yet. Uh, I had a few bugs where I was loading a project and it didn't load. Or when I first got it, before I updated it, I think I updated it. It was like one of the things where one of the menus were sticking, but once I updated it, that went away. And uh, that's really all. I mean, again, the other con that some people may complain about is you can't use your, if you buy like Complete 13, which is out right now, you will not be able to use all those sounds on here. So to some people, that's a con. To me, I look at it as I can get started on the idea, build up on it, arrange the idea, drop it over into the computer, go into controller mode, load up any other instrument. Like I can make a piano with a massive piano of course it doesn't sound like keyscape if i want the keyscape feel i take it over to the computer once i'm done with the beat load up keyscape replace the sound that i was using and it's good to go right there so again that's really up to you so overall for me i'm enjoying the machine plus it gives me a lot of freedom it's my favorite machine and it is replacing my mk3 because like i said i start my beats right here on the plus i may start a beat somewhere else i might be in a completely different room or watching a movie in the living room doing whatever my son is in virtual school maybe i'm sitting there while he's doing his schoolwork got some headphones on making beats i don't know but whatever it is i take it back to the computer it's real simple i can mix it i'm completing my beats right there and in order for me to get the beats off of the plus i have to have a spot for it to plug up to the computer like the usb so i had to move the machine mk3 and like i said it's still still it still is better than the studio to me but it has hasn't been really used since i got this one because i'm doing all my work on that so so now it's time for me to say who do i think the machine plus is for in my honest opinion, the Machine Plus is for anybody who loves machine, has an MK3 or micro, whatever it is you have, and you want to go somewhere else and make music, and you just want to be free from the computer. To some people, that's not important. I had people say, oh, I spent X amount of dollars on my computer. I spent X amount of dollars on my setup. Yeah, I'm not saying you're getting rid of your setup, but you are able to go somewhere else and start your beats i know some people make beats on their phone they might start off with iMachine or something like that while they're wherever it is and then they're able to just get that down and then move it over to the computer it's the same thing you can start your beats with the plus wherever you want to go however you want to do it you can just get the ideas out and build up on it later or you can switch the sounds around like i mentioned before or you can literally do everything right here you can make the beat mix the beat and then export the beat so that way all you got to do is get the audio off of the um, sd card and you're good to go so it's really down to that and then what i recommend it for somebody who hasn't had a machine if you're looking to get a machine i would say get it because of course i think it's just going to get better as time goes on i know there's a limited selection of sounds right now but i think with time and I think it's just going to be a beast all together. So I would recommend it, but I do understand that everybody has their own personal opinion. So that's what it comes down to. I don't want anybody in the comments like, no, bro, you wrong. You telling people to do this, get, get the NPC, get do this. It's all a matter of personal preference. Again, I'm somebody who wants to be free from the computer. So this makes 100% sense to me. I have plans on doing some special videos coming up soon where you guys will see like, oh yeah, it makes sense to do that. So looking forward to that. Hopefully you guys look forward to that. If you're interested in checking out the machine, plus click the link in the description below. It is an affiliate link. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you like this whole, like it's kind of a different setup the way I'm doing this stuff now, I'm trying to get better quality going and spend more time with this stuff. So that way I can elevate and make things better for you guys. So 
Anyway, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you're not new, I just want to ask that you just continue to support me. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you don't agree with the, uh, what is it? I don't want to call it a review, but if you don't agree with my pros and cons and stuff like that, hey, I'm sorry. That's just my opinion. Hopefully, you all have a wonderful day. Take care. If you need help using machine, I have my video course up on teachable.com and it's entitled How I Use Machine. I cover everything from how I start a beat to finishing the beat. The link is in the description below. So if you need help with machine, go check that out. Hopefully you enjoy the video.